So now in this video we're going to finally introduce the lithium ion cell to this video series. And I have these EBL ones, I have a number of them, um, but I don't really use them because in my opinion there's better alternatives, but uh, a lot of people do make circuits with these batteries. So we're going to go over the basics. To begin with, they have a uh, nominal voltage there. So that's kind of the average voltage you can expect. I like 3.6 uh, volts better, but a lot of uh, battery companies like to put 3.7 volts. Ultimately, it doesn't matter when it comes to the chemistry range of mo most lithium ion cells. There are special cells with uh, slightly different voltages, but we're just gonna go with the uh, basic uh, cell that you'll probably encounter. So, in any case, we can uh, technically charge it up to 4.2 volts, and generally speaking, chargers do that, unless you make an adjustment. If it thinks it's a lithium ion cell, it'll charge it up to uh, 4.2 volts for the most part. You might as well just stop at 4 volts, especially if you're not going to use the battery right away. When you charge it all the way up to 4.2 volts, it kind of drifts down to 4.1 uh, 4 volts anyways. And uh, ultimately, that uh, little bit of extra voltage doesn't get you a ton more uh, power. But if you are going to use the battery right away, then, then you might as well go. All the way to 4.2 but 4 is okay as well now we uh, have the uh, discharge generally you want to stop at about 3 volts once you get below 3 volts it doesn't really provide much power anymore anyways and the voltage drops quickly if you drop below about 2.5 volts there's a good chance you damage the chemistry within the battery so you might as well just stop at 3 volts the uh, dangerous part is when you recharge it if you damage the chemistry it's probably not going to catch fire well it's a discharge it'll probably catch fire while it's charging. These do have a problem with uh, uh, catching fire if you abuse them. This uh, appears to claim that it has uh, over discharge and short circuit protection and stuff, but I don't know, these these were pretty cheap. Um, I, I, that's why I bought so many. Um, I don't think you can find these anymore though, the uh, EBL. So in any case, this is a single cell, but uh, when a single cell is in this package right here, this is actually the 18650 because of its size, but uh, when a battery uh, looks like this, uh, generally still call it a battery, even though technically it is a cell. But uh, since it's in a package, you tend to call it a battery. Um, you'll often see in schematics two cells right there, no matter how many cells are actually being used. So you can put a bunch of them in series. If you have two in series, it's actually uh, 3.6 times two, so 7.2 uh, volts. Uh, for two cells, but the generic symbol that may mean one cell may be more than two cells, but they show two on uh, there. This is a button top, by the way, and uh, I tried to find a flat top battery, but I couldn't. So I used to find them more, maybe they're less common, but it would be wider on top there. It won't stick out as far, but it still sticks out a little bit. But there's a little bit of insulation because you can see on the bottom here that's flat, that's the whole can that comes all the way up here. So you need a little insulation between the positive and the negative. So you'll see at least a little bit band. But uh, that's the button top. Again, it looks to be maybe uh, more common now than it used to be. So 18650 is the side size. And uh, this claims to be a 3000 milliamp hour battery. I don't remember, it's a long time since I uh, tested these out. For some reason I was thinking there were 2000 milliamp hours. But in case, if it is a 3000 milliamp hour battery, that's when it was new as well. It's, uh, I think, almost uh, like eight years old or something. But because uh, over time their capacity goes down. But I did the math here. If it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery, you probably don't want to put two amps through this battery. It's kind of cheap. Some lithium ion batteries can't handle 2000 uh, milliamps of uh, current. So if you do that, then in one hour, it will go from 4.2 volts to 3 volts. That is what it is saying. So the math that I did here, it might say amp hours too, but usually they show milliamp hours. If we take a 2 amp hour battery and we discharge it at 0.5 amps, so a uh, fourth of the uh, current in relationship to its capacity right there, we'll get uh, 4 hours out of it from uh, 4.2 volts to uh, 3 volts for the most part. Hopefully that makes sense. So, in any case, I think we uh, covered the basics here. I'll probably use these in some circuits later on, but uh, I don't think uh, lithium ion cells are the best way to go these days. 
Um, but a lot of people do build stuff with the lithium ion cells. A lot of people get them cheap. They get old laptops or something. And uh, there's a whole process for dealing with that. But I don't go into that because uh, I don't come across old batteries. I got to buy them. And uh, I don't want to buy them used from somebody else. So I just buy new ones. So in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.